let's start this off by saying happy new year to everyone i hope you guys have a great great year and also next gen starts this holiday so basically nothing else matters <laughs> but honestly i hope you guys had a great night last night a fun night last night i know i did and that's why this video is a bit late so i apologize for that but for this video we're diving into a new pretty solid source backing recent leaks regarding the playstation 5 specs the playstation 5 price and backwards compatibility First, let me know if you guys would pay $500 for a stronger PlayStation 5 or would you rather pay $399 for a weaker PlayStation 5? I'm honestly curious what matters most to people, price or power? So, comment below if you'd want to pay $500 for a stronger PlayStation 5 or pay $399 for a weaker PlayStation 5. Let me know down in the comments below. Now, jumping into today's video, I'm sure by now you've heard the rumors regarding the PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X debate where the PlayStation 5 will supposedly have 9.2 teraflops while the new Xbox will have 12.2 teraflops. Now, I'm not going to dive into that whole conversation dissecting this. Digital Foundry does a an amazing job already on this i'll have the link down in the description below but the gist was from their video they seem to be backing the playstation 5's 9.2 teraflop claim we've heard about and this has the internet losing it one thing i want to say about teraflops to everyone is that it's not everything for people who don't know a teraflop is the number of shaders the gpu has multiplied by the clock speed and then multiplied by two and dividing that by a million and that's your teraflop count which could indicate more graphic processing power but it's not everything there's more here to think about like memory architecture basically every other aspect of the system to derive the final real world performance Linus Tech Tips here on YouTube provides a really good example. Think about it like when a camera has more megapixels. It doesn't mean it'll take better pictures. You have a cameras with 60 megapixels out there, but then you'll see a way lower count megapixel camera take better photos simply because of the quality of the different hardware and software pieces that mesh together to take that picture. Hopefully that helps people understand things a bit better and calms this argument down. But to move on, a few other things that were noted by Digital Foundry includes the pricing of the PlayStation 5 and disc-based backwards compatibility. On their latest video discussing this teraflop situation, they also note that based on the specs we are hearing for the PlayStation 5, Sony might be setting up the PlayStation 5 for a $399 price tag, which for me sounds amazing, but at the same time, I would have gladly paid $500 for a more beastly console, but also at the same time, I trust Sony considering what they've pulled off this generation. If they think they've got the right specs for their vision, then I'm with them on that and with a $399 price tag that'll side the battle in their favor a good deal later this year and finally digital foundry all goes over hardware level backwards compatibility thanks to recent leaks where it seems the playstation 5's hardware will have different modes if i understood it correctly i think they were doing it through testing allowing it to switch between the ps4 ps4 pro and the playstation 5 of course i'm not really sure why we need the base ps4 here but there's probably something i'm missing regardless based on this leak they state that the ps5 will have hardware level backwards compatibility with the PlayStation 4, meaning you can probably just put a disc in the console and start playing your games, which is kind of what we expected for the PlayStation 4 anyway. Hopefully this backwards compatibility translates to the PS3, PS2, and the PlayStation 1. Imagine Sony unveiling the PlayStation 5 at $399 with full backwards compatibility to all past consoles and top that with an expected stellar launch lineup. That would be ridiculous. That would be, that would be insane to see. In the end, let me know if $399 makes you guys happy. I'm honestly really curious to see where everyone sits in terms of price and power, this conversation of price and power. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. And if you guys did enjoy this video, please hit that like button as it always helps. And subscribe if you're new. I got new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And now, I'll check you guys out on the next one. And welcome back to the after show. This is the part of the video where we have a little fun down in the comments below. If you're old, welcome back. If you're new, welcome. For today's thing, what I want you guys to do is to body, obliterate, destroy, and overall harass the comment section with happy new year i think that's pretty self-explanatory it's the new year and so if you feel the same way i want to celebrate it with me destroy the comment section with happy new year and i'll definitely heart those comments like i always do because i appreciate everybody who stays to the end of my videos and now i'll check you guys out on the next one